Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 28th, 2021. Well, yesterday we had quite a day with lots of earnings reports, lots of anticipation of big tech, and we had some interesting results. We had um, Microsoft, Apple, and Google just absolutely smash earnings estimates as if I, I don't even know how you could keep your job by missing estimates that bad. And yet the market just had a muted response to those big smashing earnings. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle into our office chairs? Let's buckle up and get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's see if we can take a look at some of these um, technicals of the chart, take a look at this price action, see if we can get a little bit of idea where we might go today. Yesterday, we had a little bit of selling. There was a little bit of concern showing up in the NASDAQ and some odd, well, really some odd things happening. And let's talk about that here for just a second. First off, the Dow held up really well. And there's a specific reason that the Dow seemed to hold up really well. There seems to be a rotation starting to happen into um, consumer defensive or consumer staple type stocks. And we saw um, some of those really starting to perk up. We'll look at some in just a little bit. But the Dow held in there pretty well. We've got some of the big industrials trying to bounce off of substantial lows. Um, take a look at like Caterpillar trying to come up off of some substantial lows, Boeing coming up off some substantial lows. And, you know, these guys are reporting or going to be reporting earnings here really soon. So we have quite a little bit of price action in there based on those earnings. But let's take a look at the chart itself and how we settled out. First off, just pulling back into this support level um, and breaking down earlier uh, on the day did create a little bit of concern. But overall, we held in here on this price support. As you can see, we kind of ran that tail down in there and the bulls picked it back up holding in this area. So no harm, no foul. There was no technical damage here in the diamonds chart. Maybe just a little tiny bit of concern, but overall, you got to still give this up to the bulls. They did a pretty good job yesterday here in the Dow. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY also had a little bit of concern in the morning as the selling picked up and pushed down and we came back down into this area. We tested that price support, tried to dip into this gap and um, didn't quite make it all the way down to test that support before those buyers came back in and started pushing this up. So no harm, no foul here, no technical damage. Perhaps a tiny little bit of caution uh, may be coming in here, but we just have to, um, well, the, the caution, the concern has to be with those big techs. Remember, um, the tech giants control about 40%, 40% of the SPY right now. And that's only s about nine companies that really control uh, about 40% of the weight of the entire S&P 500. If they continue to hold up, we're going to be okay. But if they were to start to sell off, it may be really, really difficult for the SPY to remain uh, bullish like this. So let's keep an eye on that. And right now you would think that our tech sector would be really, really strong, but a little concern there. So notice right here that we um, are holding up nicely in a trend. Everything is doing good. And once again, yesterday, no technical damage in the SPY. Let's take a look at the QQQ. Now, the concern we have in the QQQ, of course, is that big old bearish engulfing candle. That bearish engulfing candle got pretty ugly yesterday at one point in time, but by the afternoon, we were rallying back up, trying to, trying to ignore um, the pressure here. And as you can see, we held that support, which is a strong sign for the market. That means those bulls are fighting back to defend those price support levels. And we're trying to push 
to the upside here this morning. Now, keep in mind, this only becomes a major concern, that bearish engulfing candle only becomes a major concern if we were to happen to follow through. If we were to follow through to the downside today, and it would get even worse if we broke the low of yesterday, that would be a problem. But if we hold in here today, if we hold this price support, no major concern here in the chart. However, it is worth noting that although we smashed earnings on Microsoft, Let's take a note. We're barely moving here in Microsoft this morning. Um, and, and actually, we reacted lower, and then after the conference call came back up. If we take a look at Apple that just smoked earnings in a huge way. Um, we're not showing a whole lot of bullishness here this morning um, on Apple, actually following through a little bit to the downside with this bearish double top type pattern starting to show. So that's a little bit of a concern. And then Google had just fantastic earnings and it is trying to follow through to the upside this morning, trying to reverse some of that, um, but rather muted overall in these earnings reports. So kind of an interesting thing going on here in tech. We'll want to keep an eye on that. And as I mentioned before, I was expecting either a big gap up or a big gap down this morning. We're not getting that. As a matter of fact, we're kind of yawning and going, um, okay. Um, it makes you wonder um, now if we are starting to build in that concern that although we're crushing these estimates um, that maybe some of these stocks are so elevated that um, they're not going to be able to support these current prices. I'm not saying that that's true. I'm just saying that likelihood could be um, starting to come into the thinking of the market. So watch that closely as we continue to progress through. Now, keep in mind, we've got Facebook later today. Facebook will be reporting and Facebook is just defiantly strong, even in the face of all of the um, uh, battle going on in the government, the antitrust things, um, uh, censorship and all that. It is defiantly strong, looking really strong this morning as well, heading toward that earnings report. So kind of keep that in mind. And then if we take a look at IWM. Now, IWM, although um, we saw some selling yesterday, it didn't turn out to be bad. We ended up holding on um, uh, rallying back up and we're trying to follow through to the upside this morning. However, there is still technical damage in this IWM chart that we have that price below the 50 day moving average. Um, we failed on this rally back up. We failed here and that rally back up. So we're running into a little bit of technical damage here and notice that our short term averages crossing down through the 50 day moving average to provide some additional resistance in this area. So uh, diamond spy and QQQ, no technical damage at all. Bulls still still rushing hard into those indexes. IWM not so much, and it may be giving us that little bit of a clue of a problem. You know, one of the things that I wanted to bring up this morning, so this uh, video will be just a little bit different than, than our normal, is one of the things I'm starting to see is a little bit of a rotation into um, that defensive sector uh, consumer staples. Um, take a look at um, XLP here. XLP fired up hard yesterday, pulled back by the end of the day, but we're trying to break out here on consumer uh, staples and we're seeing quite a few of those uh, kind of old boring dividend paying stocks perk up. So you want to be a little bit careful here. There may be starting to be a little bit of an underground movement rotation into some safety plays. That could signal that we may be approaching, we may be coming close to um, this buying crescendo here where we've pushed and pushed and pushed to the upside. We may be starting to get closer and closer to that as we start seeing some of these defensive sector stocks starting to roll up. We're also seeing some pretty amazing um, 
um, responses and some of utilities. Take a look at utilities yesterday, spiking up hard. Again, dividend plays, safety plays um, starting to come in into play. And um, take a look at real estate. Real estate perking up here uh, pretty strongly. Folks are moving into real estate trusts, things like that, where they can get those big dividend yields, um, um, XLRE, starting to break out. So you'll want to think about that. There seems to be this rotation beginning to happen, and that could mean that we may be we may be getting close we may be getting close to that place where the market says okay enough is enough um, so watch that closely in case that does occur let's take a look at our vix this is another thing that should give everyone just a little bit of pause as we were pushing 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 um in the you know coming back up in the afternoon um, we saw the VIX holding up. The VIX did not sell off yesterday as we're pushing up toward record highs. And heck, we're, we're just really close to new record highs in all three of those indexes again. And yet the VIX is moving up. So that's a little bit of a concern. Notice that we have held this little higher low in here, holding on to that 50-day moving average. That should bring just a little bit of uncomfortableness to us. We should be paying attention to that closely um, it is right in this area where if we were to stumble, we could see that big shift into some fear. So watch that pretty closely and notice if we take a look, we're still underneath this, whoops, we're still underneath this downtrend of these high spikes. So no particular worry here, just that little bit of caution that we need to be taking and seeing that rotation into uh, consumer staples and all of these different things starting to happen is just giving me that little bit of Hmm. Um, let's stay on our toes. Let's stay focused here um, in the market just in case we happen to find some reason to stumble. And um, let's take a look at our T2122. T2122 was kind of interesting yesterday as we were trying to prove to everyone that everything was copacetic in the afternoon, pushing back up in the afternoon. I want you to notice that T2122 is continuing to show some declines. That means the majority of stocks are still moving south or they're moving sideways. We're not getting that energy here that you would expect in such a wildly bullish market. So just a little bit of caution here. Now T2122 doesn't tell us which direction the market is going to go. It just tells us where we have room to go. And what, what we can see is we're right back here into this middle range of T2122, which means we have plenty of upside opportunity if we can find that inspiration in earnings or whatever to make that move to the upside. And we also have um, about an equal uh, amount of space for a downside move should those bears find a reason to attack. So watch that closely today. I think with so much data coming our way, um, pretty much anything is possible. Another thing that you might want to be paying attention to is T2101. Um, that absolute market, whoa, there we go. That absolute market breadth index um, is not firing up. You would think that as we press and press and press and try to hold on to the market, try to push us back up, that we would see just a little bit more um, activity in that market breadth than what we're seeing right here. So just that little bit of caution um, that I think is warranted here. Don't be running for the doors. Don't be saying, you know, um, all of these predictions that I see out there, they're all over the place. Market's going to zoom away higher. No one knows that. Um, uh, and then the other ones, market's going to crash 50%. No one knows that. But there are some clues here to be careful and cautious. So be just don't try to over trade or rush into trades or chase trades let's make sure that we're getting proof um, of follow through before um, we make some of those trade decisions be a little bit careful and one thing i will say with the sensitivity of the market right now if you have a winning trade 
don't hesitate too long to take those profits. Um, I think what a lot of folks have been seeing and actually expressing to me is they get into a trade, they'll have a profit, the next day it's gone. Um, make sure you're willing to take some of those profits because um, the way the market's acting, things could shift pretty quickly here. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have some things we wanna pay attention to today. Whoops, I didn't get that. There we go. Um, we have international trading goods coming out here this morning. Now, one thing that's been interesting about international trading goods is we just don't seem to care. Um, uh, that is really concerning me. We're, we're starting to ignore. We ignored durable goods yesterday. We ignored jobless claims last week. We ignore the dropping and and the drop in um, new home sales dramatically on money. We're just ignoring, 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 and buy, buy, buy. This one here we've ignored for a long, long time. I suspect we're going to continue to ignore it. But this trade deficit is getting really um it's substantial and continues to get get worse and um, we have seen china uh, kind of ignoring their uh, phase one agreement um, and not fulfilling um, their responsibilities in um, that trade agreement so some issues could start cropping up here eventually uh, you know it's one of those things we can ignore for a long period of time we can put our head in the sand and we can forget about it. But then all of a sudden, what we'll see is all of these things could start cropping up and we could suddenly start to care. I don't know when that's going to happen. I don't suspect it's today, but just watch that closely. Um, these numbers, we can only ignore them for so long. Um, then later on uh, this morning, we've got the petroleum status number coming out. That of course could be very, very important. Um, that energy sector has been pretty beaten up here recently. If we were to see some surprise declines in supply, that could certainly help bolster that energy sector and maybe even help support the market. So watch for that close. And then the Mac Daddy of the day, we've got FOMC here at 2 p.m. There are reports out there suggesting that the FOMC is going to begin to talk about tightening um, um, that loose money policy. Um, so keep an eye out for that. That might disappoint the market. Um, it should be expected, but could still disappoint the market yeah, depending on how that conversation goes. So watch that closely. And then the Fed chair, um, you know, we, we can just have quite a little bit of volatility around this time as the market reacts to everything Jerome Powell has to say in that Fed statement. So just keep that in mind. By the way, don't be too surprised if we see a very light, choppy, muted uh, price action day after we get through some of these earnings this morning as we just, you know, sit on our hands and wait for that FOMC. Let's take a look at some charts that, um, oh, we should take a look at the earnings here. Um, one thing I'm going to tell you guys, because I've gone long so far in this video, is do me a favor and click the link on um, just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to those notable reports this morning. You'll want to keep an eye on those. I think to shorten up this video this morning, I'm not go going to cover those, so make sure just click that link below the title of the video, it takes you back to the blog. You can get the full list of notable reports for today. So let's take and just jump right into um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a, that quick favor again, if you could um, click that subscribe button, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, and then also click that bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post one. Um, right now there's over a thousand videos on YouTube. And um, I, I truly want to say thank you to everyone who follows through and clicks the thumbs up button, leaves a brief comment, because it does take an awful lot of effort to put a daily video out like this. 
and um, um, showing your support for that really helps the channel to continue to grow. And if you leave a brief comment, it, that engagement with the video helps the algorithm to show these videos to more folks. And then we continue to reach out and see new folks coming into the channel. So thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly appreciate it. And also I want to point out just below the title of the video, there's another link down there that's for buy me a coffee. And for those those folks that aren't members of the right way option service or things like that would like to continue to support this kind of content um, please click that buy me a coffee support the channel that way those funds are not buying coffee for me um, I'll be using those funds to try to improve and expand the content of the channel so thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that as well you guys are awesome let's take a look at a few charts but please keep in mind we've got to be a little bit careful here um, in the market now I had mentioned some of those defensive sector type stocks um, um, some of those rotational stocks that you you know earlier and some that you might want to be keeping an eye on take a look at coca-cola Coca-Cola um, Coca -Cola holding up really, really well here. Broke through resistance, hanging in there nice. Had a little pushback yesterday, pushed up, pushed back a little bit. But I think this is nothing more than um, resting um, on that breakout, trying to set up that next opportunity to move higher. So watch that closely. Coke, nice divvy payer. It's one of those things that everyone thinks is probably going to be around forever. And so it can be one of those safety plays people start to pick up in, um, you know, markets that are starting to stretch out. Um, take a look. Um, CLX. Now CLX may have a couple of reasons it started to come up out of this bottom. Notice we've broken this downtrend. We've seen quite a little bit of bouncing around in here, but CLX might be coming around just a little bit. And one of the reasons might be because of the rising COVID numbers. But the other reason is just simply because this is a nice divvy payer and one of those old stodgy companies that's going to be around no matter what happens. So watch this in here. It's been trying to come up. Keep a close eye on that. Also seeing stocks like Colgate Palmolive trying to come back up. Watch these areas up here. If we can break through these resistance areas, these divvy payers are starting to come back around a little bit and show some bullishness. Take a look at Hershey. Um, oops, there we go. Hershey, another defensive sector stock. Um, really looking good, holding up nice. Who doesn't like chocolate, right? And holding up well and looking good. So we have a pattern in here that could certainly set up for that upside move um, if we can find that inspiration. So watching that right in there, we've got these nice little bullish candles. I call this a Fig Newton pattern. Um, Fig Newton patterns tend to lead um, stocks to the upside. So watch that, that possibility we could push on through. Um, even seeing stocks like um, um, SJM, um, Schmuckers, trying to turn around and come back up here a little bit. So watch some of these defensive sectors. You know, you can add to that Philip Morris. Philip Morris breaking through to the upside. Again, big divvy payer showing strength to the upside. We saw 3M here recently trying to respond back higher. Um, this still has a lot of work to do to break out of this downtrend, but you can see we're we're pressing against that in that possibility that we could break through. So some of those old boring companies with good dividends are starting to perk up. Um, um, Walmart might be um, one of those to consider. Now Walmart's got some problems here yet to deal with. We've got earnings coming up um, yet on this, and we've been challenged by this resistance here in the chart. But what I want you to notice is that we have slid out from underneath this downtrend. And if you look closely here, we've kind of developed this um, head and shoulders pattern in this chart. So breaking through this neckline, we do have that opportunity that this could take off and start moving to the up upside. So keep an eye on Walmart. And again, that's another defensive sector stock to uh, make note of. So watch that closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I'm running out of time here this morning. I want to wish you all 
great success in your trading. And thank you so much for everyone who does take that time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave those comments. You guys are awesome. I truly appreciate it. Hope you appreciate this kind of content and continue to support it. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Great results in your trading and we'll see you all right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one, everyone.